Mike Hussey and his kit bag. Thanks very much for this too, by the way. And this looks beautifully packed. Well, yeah, and I like to make sure everything's got its place. Um, yeah, I basically, I don't know, where do you want let's me to start, really? Let's dismantle, dismantle it. Let's dismantle it, okay. The, well, the pads, you know, you have to pack things well, otherwise you're not going to fit all your gear in. Well, things get pretty wet and sweaty sort of when you're training and that, so I generally like to separate, uh, you know, the wet stuff, which, you know, I've been training the last few days, so the pads have been a bit wet, so they go on, they go on top with a thigh pad, inner thigh pad and uh, forearm guard. And then I like to put a towel down just to well, protect that's... my bat so the sweat doesn't go through to the bats. Uh, so that's that. Um, and then I guess I, I like to make sure my bats are protected the most. So they've all got bat covers. Yep. How, many, how many are you carrying? I've got six, six uh, at the moment. Um, and I like to stack them sort of, uh, sort of two back to back in, inside there on the corners. And then, and then one, one sits on top nice, and, nice both, and neatly. Both sides? Both sides, yeah. Very nice. Look at this, kids. I'm loving this. <laughs> Um, and then I guess, yeah, just trying to fill up the spaces really. These are all my practice gloves. I have practice gloves through the middle. Yep. Uh, sunglasses, sunglasses case here. Um, and this is just a bag full of bits and pieces really. So I've got, in this little mini bag, spare spikes, uh, as you can hear. I've also got, um, this is my bat repair bag. So things like um, wood glue and scissors and bat tape. Stuff like that, yep. which the boys always uh, tuck into. I thought you might be good for your accessories. Um, I've also got in, um, I have spare contact lenses and things like that in here. Didn't know you wore contacts actually. Yep, yep. blind as a bat mate. Yeah. Um, what sort are you using, disposables? Do you throw them out or do you clean them and use them again? No, I use the daily ones and, okay. uh, and yeah, throw them out at the end of the day. Yep. Uh, yeah, just, just one thing that I always carry is dental floss. I've got yep. one spot in the back of my tooth and after every lunch, <laughs> I've got food in there and it just annoys me for the rest of the day on the field, so I've started packing dental floss, which right I believe. Feel free to go to a dentist and get that fixed. <laughs> oh, yes. Hussey, has he got it into the gap? He has! His 12th test 100. He's third against England. The worst thing about your game, in my eyes, is your application of sunscreen. Today, <laughs> you're quite good, actually. You've it's so thin, well. mate. It's so thin. You haven't showed us the sunscreen. Where, where, where are you keeping it? Okay. Uh, well, that's got to be separate because quite often sun cream leaks. Especially the way you throw it around. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely in a side pocket somewhere. Um, so here I've got like a little bag um, wrapped up and sort of got a zinc and a sun cream in there. Um, bat I just rolled in with a bat cone and, and a ball, you know, just to sort of knock up and test your bats out. Plenty of grips. Plenty of grips. Plenty of grips and a grip cone. Plenty of sandpaper as well, uh, not sandpaper. not for the ball, uh, for obviously you know little blemishes off the bats and things like that. Okay. Um, and what else? Oh, I've got, I guess my helmet as well down this end. Now that's often quite hard to pack, isn't it? Like you, you've put your bats either side of your helmet. Yep. Um, and that needs to be protected as well. Yeah. Well, bats either side sort of protected from the side, and then if you can remember, I have my towel down, and then I normally put say. So this, this just covers, uh, has all my inners and sweatbands and things in it. Righto. And I normally stick that right on top to sort of protect it from, from the top. Yep. The one um, thing you haven't talked about are your match batting gloves. Match batting gloves? Yes. They've got a special... Uh, Do they? Yeah, they have a special area. There's this side pocket over here. I like, to, I like to have four pairs of match gloves. And they're on the side. They're all uh, labelled. Um, and they're my, obviously my, probably my newest and, and more comfortable sort of gloves. Go, go in that side pocket, so so they're away from anything that can get wet or. Uh, yeah, or just like to top it off, mate. The coup de gras <laughs> in this pocket. We talked about it last <laughs> year, actually. This is just just once you've sanded your bat, you, the edge of your bat away, you might just check it once again. Yeah, well, for me, the, the weight's the very the weight's very important for me. <laughs> yep. So I like to make sure my bat's all weigh exactly the same. Um, I'm, I'm at two eight and a half at the moment, so uh, yeah, you just chuck it on there but I get a lot of curiosity from the boys and, and as soon as I bring it out I try and stuff with as many of the boys minds yeah. as I can. <laughs> the and, ones uh, that don't really consider weight that much. Yeah they, they reckon they don't but they all want to know exactly how much their bats yeah. weigh so uh, that gets a fair run in the dressing room. No, for sure. And then I guess my shoes at the end I just shove my shoes. Is there bright? Yeah they're my batting shoe. Half spikes for batting, full spikes for bowling um, and then I have a training pair as well. Yeah. And, and that's pretty much my, my Hus, bag. Thanks so much for your time, mate, in exposing no that to us. And that is, as we said, an absolute model for uh, protecting <laughs> your kit and packing your kit as well as it needs to be when you've got so much gear. Thanks, mate. No